Tomo again, and I um, the last um, little uh, demo of a track that I did, Are You Sure, by um, Gillen. Um, a lot of people have asked if I could demonstrate other bits and pieces of other tracks. So um, here goes. Um, this is a track called Sleeping on the Job. Um, that we recorded in 1979, though it was um, released, I think, in uh, 1980. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it because, you know, it would take too long and I can't remember it anyway. <laughs> I could hardly remember it at the time. So, to start off, it's in F. And F, ah, it isn't a guitarist's key. So, um, it's a... Uh, it's a keyboardist's key, really, and it was um, Colin who wrote it, um, and a clever track it is, too. If I can start off and show you um, the riff, and I'll play it at the normal speed I'd play it at, <laughs> which is probably about half the speed it was originally, because it was just incredibly fast, as all of the Gillen tracks appear to be looking uh, back on them. What a band, man, so tight. <laughs> Nice and slow and up close. Um, it begins on F on the B string. F. And that's F, E flat, C. And then B flat, A flat, F, E flat, C. It's basically just a blues minor pentatonic. And that's all obviously enough, uh, just an F uh, to an A flat triad and an F to a B flat triad. So. And the second time around it goes That's um, a C sharp on the B string, and the third string, G string, pulled up, and then a C. So it's just now all of that goes round, and then it goes round again a second time, and second time I played. That's um, the C sharp on the uh, B and G, and a G sharp on the E string, and a G that time, C, C, and a G, right? And it was to broaden out, you know, the, the end of um, the riff. So after the first uh, four lines on F, E flat. That happens four times round. It went to heaven, a G chord. <laughs> so um, that was actually pretty pretty odd because everyone would expect it to go to a B flat, but it's a G. So, and a G has um, that great thing that I love as a guitarist. It has an open string. So it could go. And um, that's a um, really easy, but it was always a great part personally for um, me to play because I could play like loads of different ways. I could go. Okay, so at the end of that 
that part, it goes to the chorus thing. Yeah. Annie, my baby, act like a lady. Which is, um, again, clever. It's C, you know, you go on. So, um, that end after the C, B flat, A flat, G flat. I was able to end in kind of uh, different ways. Um, it would be like. It's right. Good advice. Um, so, any way, the only other parts now are in the middle eight. It isn't a, a middle eight, it's a, a middle sixteen, and it had a great harmonica part from Ian, um, who was absolutely brill at harmonica. He was just great. Um, so, it was G again, and it goes. on that. I mean all it is is a G and they're kind of like F, E, D and then B flat, B and a low G. And on the high bit it's just a B, bent up from an A, A, G. Um, also did it as an octave at the end. Just, it was nice because Ian would be kind of playing the um, harp part and I'd be playing against him a bit and it just had that like bluesy togetherness and untogetherness that was um, really nice. I always enjoyed that part. So after that it goes in to the style oh, and that was um, just a standard chucky Chuck Berry type thing on D. And I did all of the, the noises after. That isn't awfully interesting, any of that. So, um, I mean, uh, then it goes to C. And there was a nice scale on C, which was... So that scale is just uh, basically a C major pentatonic. It starts on the C on the low E string. So that's, that's D, E flat, E, G. And then from G. So that's just G, A flat, A, C. So basically all I do is carry on doing those notes up and up and up. So it's... And the again. Up to a G and a G. Up to a C. Up to a G. And then I went... Again, 
again and then just round and round um, the riff. For me, and it had a descending bass line and Colin playing harmony, some kind of jamming across it, it was just great. I mean, it was, you know, it was so, uh, it was simple because it was a uh, shuffle, but it wasn't at all harmonically simple. It was really clever. <laughs> is going down the scale and Colin's playing a harmony on that and um, jamming across it. What a band. I hear it now and I kind of think, God, that was so fast and it was so tight. <laughs> 